ain't drunk. I'm just drinking. But you're so high. Oh man, you know I ain't high. But you're so high. Yeah, well I just take a little sip every now and then. But you're so high. You ought to be ashamed Stay of yourself. Drunk all oh the come night. on now, you all don't feel like that. Bam! Hey kids, I am back. Welcome to another tech tip, kind of. Um, I've had a couple people ask me about uh, adding an external barometer to a flight controller. Um, one of the things this does is you can enable altitude hold mode, which works fairly well. Or if you just want to see the height that you're flying in your OSD, then you can add one of these things. And in the description, I'm putting a link to the external barometer that I'm using. And um, that's it, I guess. It's really very straightforward. This is the barometer, okay? Very, very small. The board's bigger than the barometer, but that's the actual unit right there. What you wanna do, you see that little hole right there in the barometer box itself? You want to take some hot glue, put a little bit of hot glue right on this edge and a little on this edge, and then put a piece of foam over the top, okay? The reason you wanna do that is if air is blowing over that hole, it disrupts the air pressure, and that is what detects your altitude hold, okay? So, or your barometer functionality. So you always wanna cover this with a little bit of foam. And if you guys have been in the hobby for more than 10 minutes, you've probably gotten a zillion things uh, shipped to you with some kind of porous foam. Now, if this is totally encased in something, like it's hidden, like you're building it into a frame that's, I don't have one offhand, but where it's really protected and you're not gonna get prop wash in it, you might not need it. Then what we've done is we've gone VCC, ground, VCC is your voltage in, ground, SCL, and SDA, okay? That's what we've got. Now, this one, if I remember right, is three volts. I'm gonna live on the wild side. I'm gonna wire it into five volts. <laughs> Excuse me, because I don't have a flight controller right now that has three volts, but I think it'll work okay. Um, but that is something you want, might wanna be aware of. So, very simply, we're gonna use an Omnibus F3. Bam, there you go. Because it's handy and I've got it. Notice you've got an SDL and an SDA right here. And then you've got another one, SDA and an SDL right here. Now, if you were using this for iNav or a real GPS drone, like I build a lot, um, you would have your, G your compass wired into here. And then if you wanted to, you could wire in your barometer in over here. Um, so that's pretty important to do. And that's where you would do it. So if you're wiring up a compass, or I'm sorry, the GPS unit, you've got the transmit and receive, like transmit one, receive one, um, and receive goes into transmit, and transmit goes into receive, as we all know. But in the case of SDA and SDL, those go into the respective. So I'm actually gonna wire SDA into SDA and SDL into SDL. Very, very simple. So if you look at this right here, here's an actual board of that, and we're going to go SDA and SDL right there. So I'm gonna wire those in real quick. Um, then you've got your five volts over here, and you've got your, I'm sorry, your ground over here and your five volts here. And we will go ahead and plug this in and the, be right back. Bam, and we're back. So here we go. Very, very straightforward. Like I said, we've got VCC, which is your voltage, ground, SCL, and SDA. And that is wired into the SDA, SDL. And I do run these off of five volts, even though they say three volts. I don't have any problems. So I run them off five volts of the board and that's it. You don't really have to do anything else. If you're running beta flight uh, in the configuration tab, uh, right by accelerometer in the configuration tab, right below it, you'll see barometer. You can enable that, bam, it's done. Or if you go into iNav, it should automatically find it. That's it, that's, that's all there is to it. Then go into your OSD and you'll see altitude. Um, go ahead and click that and it will sense your barometer and it'll show how high you are when you're flying. It's that simple. Or if you're doing iNav, 
Um, obviously, it, that's for your your uh, altitude hold, pos, you know, positions and things like that. So very very good. Uh, very cheap. I think they're five bucks for three. Don't forget to put your foam over the top and don't get glue in the fucking hole. That is bad. All right. So that's it. Nothing but a peanut. Pretty easy, guys. So if you have any questions, give me a shout. Um, now this Omnibus F3 already has a barometer on it. <laughs> right there okay uh, but I just use this as an example because I had the board handy so either way that's it so boom hope that helps if you have any questions give me a shout keep shine side up kids take care bye bam JJ hope you like fishing bam JJ bam JJ hope you like fishing